Each year, more than 200,000 children worldwide are diagnosed with cancer. In the developed world, where tens of thousands of children get cancer annually, the vast majority, 80%, will survive thanks to the progress made in treatment in recent decades. For most children, a cancer diagnosis doesn't have to be a death sentence. But in the developing world, the opposite holds true. For 80% of children with cancer in places like Malawi and Myanmar, the diagnosis is likely to mean a painful death without adequate treatment. That is a daunting figure with global consequences. The vast majority of the world's children live in low- to middle-income countries, and in many of these countries, the mortality rates for children under five have fallen dramatically over the past 30 years. But the reality for children with cancer often remains grim. In some countries, the survival rate can be as low as one in 10. And that's where World Child Cancer, the FT's partner in the 2013 Seasonal Appeal, steps in. Founded in 2007, it is one of the few charities in the world dedicated to helping children with cancer in developing countries. It is a young charity with a small, dedicated staff tackling one of the world's most heart-wrenching and solvable problems. WCC operates on a simple model. It pairs up the knowledge of doctors and nurses from hospitals in the rich world with those in poor countries via twinning partnerships. It works with some of the world's leading medical institutions, sending their doctors to spend time with their peers on the ground, where they offer advice and establish a longer-term mentoring relationship. In 2009, when WCC first went to work in Malawi, it trained 50 medical professionals. This year, it will be involved in training more than a thousand professionals worldwide, and it is looking at expanding its operations into new countries. WCC helps local hospitals in several other ways. It helps raise awareness of cancer and increase the speed and accuracy of diagnosis. It helps local hospitals access better equipment and drugs. It helps them establish programs to help deliver palliative care in remote areas. And it helps impoverished families fund treatments their children need, but which they would otherwise be unable to afford. It also is working with leading pediatric oncologists around the world to establish simple treatment methods. And those are things we in the rich world can learn from. In some cases, treating a child with cancer can be done for just a few hundred dollars in the developing world. That same treatment can cost more than $100,000 in the rich world. WCC is already having an impact. It will touch the lives of more than 3,000 children this year. But the goal is to do much, much more, and to grow quickly to meet the growing needs of children with cancer in the developing world. But WCC still has a lot of work to do. In 2012, it had a budget of just over 1 million pounds, or $1.6 million, and that includes donations in kind of medical expertise. To put that in context, the Gates Foundation has given grants worth some $2 billion to tackling malaria alone. The goal of this year's FT Seasonal Appeal is to help WCC to take the next step and reach many more of the multitudes of children who need its help in places like Myanmar. WCC estimates there are 100,000 children in the developing world who will this year die painful deaths from cancer as a result of lack of adequate care and even access to proper pain relief. At the FT, we think it's worth reducing that number. Together with World Child Cancer, we invite you to help us tackle that goal.